When I say I expect to have interesting unboxings for you guys, I did not expect to be unboxing seven boxes today. I hope you guys are ready. We're gonna be here for a minute. Hello, book reading friends. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Mel and today I bring you literally a massive unboxing. So I've said the word massive before and I've meant it because to me 20 books is a lot except for the fact that I never anticipated the day where I would be making a seven book box unboxing. Here's the thing. I am very good at unboxing these. I unbox these right as they get here in whatever video I'm putting up, whether that's a haul, a reading vlog, an individual video. I try and not let these boxes accumulate like this because it's excessive right it's it's literally ridiculous all of the book boxes got here at the same time all i am saying is i hope you guys have nothing to do today that you have some good snacks with you or wine or just have something to accompany you in the journey of opening seven book boxes. Just saying that out loud, it sounds so excessive. So this is what we're doing. I have three Luma crates, two Owl crates, one Owl crate junior, and one fairy loot. I will try my hardest to make this video as short as possible while still showcasing everything. If anything, I'll make sure to leave everything linked down below just in case. Let's get right into this. Okay, so the chaos has been minimized. Hello, welcome. This feels more me. This stage right here, tag yourself. I'm the hot tamales. I think I'm gonna start with this Owl crate. I don't know which owl crate this is going to be but whatever it is let's just hope that everything's great and that we love what's inside trust enough is here i'm not gonna wave it around too much because you guys love it when it's here but when it is here you guys also get spooked so for the safety of me and your sanity we're not gonna wave it around too much i say while i wave it on the corner let's see what magical month this is for okay we have got the spoiler card i'm gonna keep this up here reach for that later so we've got this cute box I will do this sort of close up for the sake of this video. And this says, reading through the seasons. To celebrate the unique beauty found in each of the four seasons, we've created a special limited collection of drinkware. Oh, oh, and this is inspired by a quote by Benjamin Alire Science. It might be Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe, maybe. Oh my God, what month is this? I genuinely am curious. I should probably have the trash bag near me, but going on the floor for now. Summer was a book of hope. We've got some really beautiful flower designs going on in some of my favorite colors. I think the combination of colors really perfectly done. My color theory side is coming out as a makeup artist, but it really is stunning. And it's one of those tumbler cups, I guess, that are like metal. So it's going to retain that heat or that cold really, really well. This is really gorgeous. Again, it's inspired by Benjamin Alire Science. This box is actually really small. There's not a lot in here, surprisingly. I feel like we've had other months where it's been like more jam-packed. This is a Terracin lunch tote. So this is inspired on Throne of Glass and it's got the Terracin house colors. So it's like a, I guess like an emerald green. We've got some, I guess these are deer. Got some swords. If you know the sword, then you know. I don't go anywhere or at least anywhere that I would need to take a lunch tote with me, but I'm sure that I could pass this along to somebody that will make like a proper use to this. We have got some smaller items. Items. This one is heavy though. This one is actually really heavy. Let's see this. What is this? We've got a small blue pouch. Let's see. This is Fable Wayfinder Coin designed by Iron and Ink Designs. Wait, what is this? A coin? Oh, wow. Trade Council of the Narrows, Rough Seas, and then Port of Saros, Five Coppers. I have no idea what fandom this is from. It said Fable. So maybe it's from Fable by Adrian Young. I'm really unsure, but this is a beautiful kind of collector's item that I can have to displayed on the bookshelves. And this is the monthly enamel pin. Okay, this is great. This is the June box. So this is go your own way. I am glad that I opened June first. So, you know, we we're starting with some continuity here. And this is the pin for the month of June. This says, you can be more than what the stars wish for. Wow, wow, I really love that. You guys know I love like quotes that have to do with like the stars and like the moon because I'm cheesy like that, but that is a really beautiful quote. And then, oh my God. More heavy items. What is this? Oh, wow. Oh, this is totally the Starless Sea. This is an enamel bottle opener. Definitely by the Starless Sea. That is beautiful. Designed by Pineapple Sundays. No story ever truly ends as long as it is told. Exactly. Oh my God. That makes me want to read the Starless Sea even more. Look at this beautiful piece. This is what I mean about fantasy books. Where it's at. You've got beautiful designs for everything. Love this. Wow. This is a really solid box. 
box. I am really in love with all of this. And even though it didn't seem as jam-packed, I think everything good was in here. It was really great. And we have got the book. <gasps> We've got some book and some other stuff down here. Give me a minute. <gasps> you guys. Oh my God. Okay, wait, I'm freaking out. Yes, Alucrade. Yes, this is how you do it, Alucrade. This is how you win my heart. Oh my god. Okay, so first of all, we've got like this feather bookmark, which is from Six Crimson Cranes. I know a lot of people like the UK cover better. I love the UK cover, but there's just something about the illustration for the US one that is really beautiful. Both are stunning, but there's just something about this. It's really gorgeous. What I was freaking out about, however, wow, look at them. It's Laszlo and Sarai from Strange the Dreamer. You guys know how much I love Strange. It's one of my favorite books. It's just a really beautiful story. The lyrical writing was everything. And this art print is so freaking, I need to see who did this. This is designed by Kim over at Kim Carlica underscore art. I will make sure to again leave everybody linked down below, but look at this stunning art print of Laszlo and Sarai. Honestly, thank you so much. Thank you for feeding my strange addiction. For this month, we got Sisters of the Snake, and I've actually never heard of this book. The letter from the author, which is always really nice, and I just obviously always have it in the book. There's art under the dust jacket, which I really appreciate. There's also the naked book. This naked book is really really pretty. You guys know I hate snakes, so the fact that this book is about snakes really freaks me out. Stunning artwork under the dust jacket. It is also signed by the author. And the flap says, Princess Ronnie has heard the whispers. Snake princess, they call her. A girl with fangs for teeth. Her people fear her, yet her father doesn't believe her capable of ruling. Rhea is the quickest thief this side of the Var River. That's why she's still alive. But when she's conscripted into a looming war, she knows she has to be quicker than ever before to elude the royal army grasp. These two lives collide, turning everything upside down because Rhea and Rani, orphan and princess, are unmistakably identical. That is actually really freaking cool. And again, I am really thankful that we get kind of, I guess, books that aren't necessarily that hyped up in comparison to others when it comes to new releases. That is a balance that I really, really appreciate. So we've got the next owl crate. Let's crack this baby open and see what July has to offer. This is a tie a box, let me tell you that. So this is the July box, we got it right there. I don't know why I'm twisting this way like a snake, but ugh, I hated that visual. Anyways, we have got this really beautiful art. It's got like poisons, skulls in there. The color scheme is beautiful. Ooh, this is heavy. This says, Alcrate Apothecary, Bibliophile Brew. Suffering from a bout of reader's block, our TBR jar is just the cure you need. This is super cool. What is this? Let's see what this looks like. Oh my god, that is actually pretty neat. Okay, Alucrate. Let Alucrate Apothecary decide your fictional fate. That is actually really clever. I actually really love that. And then the back of it says this. I really like the design. Like, I like that it's color neutral and that it's got the little stopper at the top. Oh god, this is hard. Okay, there we go. I love this as a display item. See, this is where I go. I don't have enough shelves for all of this, but I want to display everything. That is really stunning. We've got a bunch of fluff though. So I guess I'm gonna throw that in the other box. We've got this little bottle situation. I might have to look at this spoiler card because I, oh my God, this is all clinging to my sweater. Probably not the best attire to wear knowing that this video was happening. We've got this little stopper situation, which I, I guess I know, I know where the idea is coming from, where it's like a little poison and it's got a keychain to put it in a purse or a bag. I will admit out of every item that we've gotten so far on Alucrate, don't know if this is my favorite, like I'd rather have something else especially because like the bottle is just a plastic bottle like it doesn't feel like anything special i guess i appreciate the stay safe and hands clean message of this and then We've got this. Does this have something inside? A girl is confused. A girl is very confused as to what this is. Popsicle holder. Brew up your own unique popsicle flavors and store them in this handy holder. Simply fill with liquid, place in your freezer. Okay, this says Fiction Bath Co. Vial of Dreams, a bubble elixir. See, this also makes me wish that I had a bath 
in my home, which I unfortunately do not. I live in an apartment and those are very unusual here. To use as bubble bath, exactly. And I do not have a bath. So I guess I have liquid bubbles, but it's cute. The idea is cute. Like it's just the execution though. Not everybody's gonna have a bath. Let's see, we've got two more items here. See, this is this is what I want, Alcrate. This is what you need to give to me. This is one of those enamel bookmarks. Love this. This says, drink me, eat me. Is this inspired by Alice in Wonderland? It definitely feels like it. It feels very Alice in Wonderland inspired when she goes into the little room and she drinks her thing. Okay, it is Alice in Wonderland inspired, so that is very, very cute. We have got, ooh, this enamel pin is gorgeous. We've got the monthly enamel pins, which as always is designed by Icy Designs. And look at that. That is a gorgeous enamel pin. I really, really love this. We've got this. I think this might be a tote bag. It has like a bunch of plants, which again, very on theme. I will say, I think out of all of the boxes that I received from Alcrate, this feels the most thematic. Thematic? Is that how you say it? Theme? Attic? You guys know what I'm trying to say. It feels the most cohesive in terms of theme. I just don't know if I love the items that were put because of the theme, if, you, if that makes sense. I feel like that's, there's a lot more that we could have done. What is this? Is this just like a, like a tabletop? Is this a tapestry? Is this for the dining room table? Tea towel. What do you use a tea towel for? It's gorgeous, don't get me wrong. As far as the item goes, like I love certain items. I just think a lot of them aren't my personal favorites. I think we've definitely gotten stronger boxes from Alucrate, like this, like this box right here. 10 out of 10 box. You go from like a great box to a not so great box. Let's open this book so that I can show you guys what it looks like because honestly, it's gorgeous. As always, we've got the letter from the author, so I'm definitely keeping this because I am pasting that on the book. And then we have got the actual book, which the cover for this, again, they did a fantastic job. It's really gorgeous. I love the fact that the colors are so bright. I think every corner of this book is beautiful. We've got, again, the foiling on the hardcover, which is very signature of Alcrate. And we've also got, oh my god, this art is stunning. I like the illustration style. This illustration style is really, really beautiful. This book is a secret garden retelling, which I've never seen really done before. And we follow our main character, Brie, as her and her parents move to this new mansion that she inherited from her aunt. And while she is there, she finds out that her powers and her surroundings are a little bit more sinister than meets the eye. And there is a lot of people willing to target her and her family and her magic based solely on the ability that she has. It sounds super interesting. I know that when Cinderella is Dead came out, everybody loved it. So I really do hope that I'll end up enjoying this new book by Kayleen Barron because I have yet to read Cinderella is Dead. But nonetheless, I am really excited about it. So look at me go. We've got two boxes down, five more to go. Okay, so the question now is what do I want to do next? I think because I have a singular fairy loot that might be worth unboxing next because I also really want to see the items. So let's wipe the bookshelves of these items and then we'll come back. Okay, so next up I have my June fairy loot. I am really excited about this. I know for this and the June allocrate, my patrons and some friends were like, oh my god, I can't wait for you to open it. You're gonna freak out so much. So I am really excited to see what I'm gonna freak out with this one. I know with the Alucrate, it was definitely the Strange the Dreamer artwork that everybody thought I was gonna freak out about, and I did. So let's see what I'm gonna freak out with the June Fairy Loot. I'm excited. I'm excited because I really love Fairy Loot, and I think they always go out of their way to make every item extra special and like unique, so I really appreciate that. I generally don't know what the book is gonna be for this one. I absolutely know what the July book is. I'm not gonna get into that one quite yet because I know a lot of people are still receiving their boxes. I still haven't gotten mine, but I absolutely know what the book is. However, the theme for this one is Animal Companions, and I am not really familiar with any books recently that have come out with like Animal Companions, I don't think. We're gonna dive into Together. We're gonna see what this is about and we're gonna read about this together. I see the tarot cards right here. I'm gonna look at those first because this is my favorite part of fairy loot. It's the freaking tarot cards. Wait, wait, wait. Are these Amelia and Ra from Kingdom of the Wicked? I, it's the yellow eyes. I know it's him. <gasps> okay, so we've got the Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands. You guys, I am freaking out. Like these are most definitely Amelia and Ra. I love this. I love this. 
see, last month we got Serpent and Dove, which, I mean, not last month, but for May, we got Serpent and Dove, which I haven't read it yet, so I, I couldn't, like, get as excited. You know, I, I haven't read it yet. I love that. And we've got Heavy... <gasps> We got heavy boxes and I'm into this. First thing I see, it's a Crescent City item. So we're doing fantastic. Doing great, sweetheart. And what is this? Is this a mug? A ceramic pot? Sign me up. What is this? Oh, hell yeah. Look at Bryce. Look at Bryce. I definitely need to wash this or something because it's full of love. But look at Miss Bryce Quinlan. Look at her. She looks like a queen oh my god and the little foiling details i am so into this this is really gorgeous i appreciate this fairy loop thank you very much and then we've got this we've got a pillowcase raven sleep cycle oh so this is inspired by the raven cycle by maggie steve otter so the raven boys this is an interesting color scheme for the raven boys this is also for a massive pillow pillow Yes, for a massive pillow. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, I appreciate the matching set. And will you guys be able to see this? This says, the heart is all fire. Okay, Miss Steve Otter, we've got this. I don't know if I love the color scheme. I would rather have pillows in a darker shade, like decorative wise, because this is definitely not my color scheme when it comes to home decor. This says, the head is too wise. I do plan to read The Raven Cycle soon enough. I mean, at least the first book because it's the only one that I own. I do plan to read that soon enough. So I am really excited. And we've got three moments. Okay, three little moments. What do I want to... Oh, you guys, I just... So all of these at the back, like at least these two, have like a... <gasps> Okay, so one is from Priory and the other one is but it's Kingdom of the Wicked. Let's open the Priory one. I literally just oh, I just I just finished Priory yesterday. Great book. I hated the ending, but it was a great book. And I'm really excited about this. What is this? This is a oh, metal bookmark. Okay. Oh, it is it is metal. It is metal. It is gorgeous. I haven't even seen it. I don't care. <gasps> but look at that. Oh, beautiful. I kind of wish I had this when I was reading Priory. I think this would have been really freaking beautiful. Alas, that did not happen. But I am going to be using this all the time now. I'm going to be obnoxious. So far, you have given me everything from fandoms that I love. Kingdom of the Wicked. It's an acrylic standee. I don't know what this is. I've got no idea. I don't know what it means. I, I, I know nothing. I know nothing, Ingrid. Okay, nothing. Oh god, let me snap this together. See, I know some people wouldn't be fans of these, but I don't mind it. So we've got Mr. Wrath right here, and he looking a messing with that three-headed dog. Is that supposed to be like Cerberus or something? I can't remember. I read this book almost a year ago. This is really cute. I wish we had like a matching set, but I'm loving these Kingdom of the Wicked vibes in here. Loving these vibes. Truly immaculate. We've got this. It's, it's a really big bag for a pin. What is this? It is a pin. Oh, wait. Is this Kiki's Delivery Service? I haven't read that either or watched it. Is, th is that something you watch? Is that something you see? It says Delivery Cat. Just by seeing like the broom and like the art, it screams like Kiki Delivery Service. I love all the pins, honestly. Like I am into this situation. And now we've got the book. Oh, is there gonna be like an art print inside? Please say yes. Uh, I love art prints. I'm living for these. So we've got the pouch that Fairy Loot does every month, which I really appreciate. <gasps> I think some spread edges and they're pretty. They're really pretty. They're yellow. Ah, they're like mustard yellow. Look at that. Yes, it looks brighter on camera, but I don't want to look just yet. So what is this? Oh, of course. Animal Companions, Priory, Dragons. Of course, Mel. Now everything makes sense. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> okay, so we've got the matching bookmark that goes obviously with the spoiler card. Love it. Love it him. Don't know who he is, but he's cute. Oh my god, this is the letter from the author, and this is gorgeous. We've got, is this supposed, to, is this a dragon? I love dragons. Please tell me there's a dragon in this book. This is absolutely stunning. Love me a good dragon story. Maybe I'm still hung up on Priory. Ooh, two sisters, divided they burn, fire with fire, by Destiny Soria. It says, ah, oh, we've got a dragon in a hand with fire. Maybe I do need to read this soon. Oh my god. <gasps> look. Okay, now I need to show you guys this up close. Oh, look at that. You guys, what happens if I put this on my August TBR? I literally just filmed my TBR. And we've got this gorgeous art with the freaking dragon. <gasps> gorgeous. This is 
Oh my god, is this signed by the author? It is. It's also signed by the author. This says, I didn't choose you and you didn't choose me, but we have each other now, always. Let me read this. I might have to read this this month. I'm not even kidding. What if the story we've been told about dragons is wrong? Danny and Eden Rivera were born to kill dragons, but that's the only thing the sisters have in common. For Danny, Dragon's Lane takes a backseat to everyday high school life. For Eden, Slaying is her life. Why does this sound like the plot of Supernatural except that it's in high school and not college? Kind of into it. Yet they both agree on one thing. Where dragons are concerned, it's killed or be killed. That is, until Danny actually meets a dragon and ends up forging a rare and magical soul bond with him. Him. I might have to read this book this month. Also, the cover for this, I'm living. Alcray Jr. is next. And if you guys know me, I love Alcray Jr. They have the cutest items ever. And also, this month, I, this is July. It's definitely July. It's very like, what was it? I can't remember the theme. Something creative. Explore your creative. No, that's, that's not catchy. Something creative. And I think there's going to be a lot of stationary items in here. I'm not mad at it. Give it to me. I literally just organized my stationary collection yesterday. And I threw a bunch of stuff away. Way that I wasn't using anymore so I need I need more yes this is creativity conquers all and this is obviously July 2021 so let us go through this where am I gonna put these items we've got this pouch with creepy eyes <laughs> But it's cute. It's cute, but it's a little bit creepy. Like the first thing I see it's these crazy eyes right there So I don't know what this is. Let's see. So we've got this little wraparound moment and oh Okay, this is cute. Actually, this is supposed to be like a pen holder or like a marker holder of sorts Even for me like makeup brushes, maybe that'd be a cute moment. Also Absolutely called it. There is absolutely washi tape in here. I love this I saw a while ago that they did washi tape with I think it was like a Halloween ish design and I was there for it I was like I hope they do it again and they did they absolutely have I love this it's like very blocky very primary color esque I am not mad at it at all because if I ever wanted to do like a darker sort of theme this would come in really handy we've got something heavy and that makes noise. This says, you don't need to be a famous artist to make beautiful artwork. Wait, is this gonna be like a color palette? Oh yes, watercolor paint. Again, not something that I would buy on my own time because I I guess I only use like watercolor when I was in like school. However, I have been looking at a lot of bullet journaling channels, I guess, primarily um, Elizabeth from Plant Based Bride. And she does a lot of things with paint and like watercolor. And I think Alcray Jr. might've just saved my life and given me what I needed in order to make some really different spreads happen with like a different technique. So we've got all of these colors up on the palette and then we've also got like a mixing area up here and down here, which I really, really like. This is actually super nice and it's got like its own little handle up here. Got first of all a, a bookmark and this says, writing stories is a kind of magic too by Cornelia Bunka. The illustration style is very different from what we've gotten in the has, but it's still really beautiful. It's got its tassel moment. We've got you can't use up creativity. The more you use, the more you have. And that's actually very true. It's like a little cute sketch pad of sorts. And the paper is really thick. So I'm sure this is made to be used alongside those watercolor paints. Oh my god, look at the little sticker. Yes, I also just love and, and, and I guess they're they're mindful of it that kids like are very hands-on and they're like constantly like scratching stuff and like drawing stuff and like they love the, like the planners and agendas and the pens and I really appreciate it because those are still things that might be useful for adults so I really appreciate the fact that it's it's kind of like ageless in a way if you like middle grade but we have got the signed book plate right here and then we've got the monthly collectible sticker which I love these I have been saving them up we've got the letter from the author this is Kiki Kalira breaks a kingdom this is the cover right here we have got nothing under the dust jacket that's typically how it goes for Alfred Jr and let's see what this says this says Kiki Kalira has always been a warrior did she lock the front door is there a terrible reason her mom is late recently her anxiety has been getting out of control but one thing that has always soothed her is drawing oh I love that 
that. Kiki's sketchbook is full of fanciful doodles of the rich Indian myths and legends her mother has told her over the years. One day, Kiki ends up falling into the mystical world of her sketchbook, where she discovers her characters have been brought to vivid life, from the awesome band of rebel kids who protect the kingdom to the less awesome evil god bent on total destruction. And I really love the integration of mental health in here, because even some kids grow up struggling with mental health and they can't quite pinpoint exactly how they feel or what to name it, so I really like the inclusion of that in middle grade books. I think it's obviously a really beautiful journey, so I honestly can't wait to read this. I love that it's the arts that really soothe her and bring her peace. I can relate to that a lot, so that is a, a beautiful message and something that I am sure a lot of kids will appreciate. I am really excited for this one. I am going to scoot over my hot tamales and put this right here. I will also attempt to clean up a little bit because this is genuinely getting out of control. So I will go and tidy this up, organize a little bit, throw things in the trash that need to go in the trash, and then I'll come back with hopefully a more organized space because this right here, you guys, a girl needs some order right about now. Okay, so my camera has done me dirty. It shot down and didn't record me actually opening the box for the June Illumicrate. So we've got the June Illumicrate open. The theme is Out of the Woods. I have got no idea what the book is. However, we've got this cylinder hardware thing and this says Holly Black. So we'll find out together. Is this like a cool print item? This says Based on the Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. So this is like a, like a poster of sorts and it's got three characters on here. So wait, is this supposed to be like different from the Cruel Prince? I know she has like the, the coldest part, the, the coldest girl in Cold Town or something. And then obviously the Cruel Prince and she's got like a series with Cassandra Clare. She also wrote Spiderwick, but I don't think, yeah, the darkest part of the forest. Have you guys read this? I don't think I've ever heard of the darkest part of the forest. I definitely have not heard of that before. But we've got this white box that gives nothing away. And this seems to be, ooh, is this another cup? Yes, madame. Also, I know people hate the sound. I'm so sorry. But is this directly connected to the book? It might be. This says, the woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. This is by Robert Frost. I really have no idea. Like I'm lost when it comes to this theme, this box. And it's, I think this is glass. It sounds like glass and it's got the wooden stopper at the top. So this is actually really cute. I like this, as you guys know, tumbler cups, mugs, all of it. I'm into all of it. We have got this big item actually inspired by Lord of the Rings except that mine is really bent. I don't know if you guys can see it right at the top. You totally can. It's like super bent up here. And this is really unfortunate because this is actually like a really beautiful box that obviously like looks like a book. But this is actually a puzzle inspired by Lord of the Rings, which I have yet to read. But coincidentally enough, I got asked today if I had any interest in reading this. And the answer is yes. My brother owns them. I think I'd obviously buy my own copies just in case like I ever want to like annotate and I know Nerdy Ink also at one point had like dust jackets. I don't know if they're still available, but that'd be really cool. And we've got the puzzle in here. I actually haven't done a puzzle in what feels like ages because it probably has been ages. I probably will make good use of that when I'm feeling anxious because those definitely come in handy. So let's open these and see what these are about. So we've got one enamel pin, which is inspired on We Hunt the Flame, which I've been really curious about this book because I know there's a poly ship in this book, I believe. I believe I've heard that or read that somewhere. I might be wrong, don't quote me on it. I am really interested in that book. And then this must be the monthly enamel pin, which is obviously by Stacey McAvoy Kant. And I will just show this to you guys. Don't know what this looks like. I will definitely cover it right here. I don't know what this is. So we'll find out together because I really don't want to look at it. I want to look at the book first and see what it looks like. And we have got a wood wooden bookmark and this says the wood makes monsters of us all by Ashley Poston. Why does this sound familiar? Wait, no, that is, I'm thinking of another author. Why did the ones in future witches? That is not Ashley Poston. Among the beast and briars? Is that, is that what this is? Oh God, spoiler card, where are you? Ah! 
for Holly Black. She's been thrown on the floor. But I believe this might be Amongst the Beast and Briars. Yes, it is Among the Beast and Briars. I think that book was in a book box. I just can't remember which one. And then finally, Illumicrate. Thank you. I have been waiting for these pouches by Illumicrate. Same as the Fairy Loot ones, just obviously from Illumicrate. And let's see what the mysterious book is. I see some beautiful like reddish sprayed edges. These are beautiful. And let's see this. Oh, yes. Illumicrate. So this is a gorgeous art print that I would definitely be down to put in my journal for like October. It gives me like spooky vibes. And obviously it's the letter from the author at the back. Whoa. Okay. I've never seen this book before. Wow. Okay. It just keeps on coming. Sorry. This is The Wolf and the Woodsman by Ava Reed. And first of all, we've got some beautiful stenciled edges beside obviously the sprayed edges at the top of the bottom. I love the cohesiveness of this all. I love when it's like all around. And then we've got a beautiful design on the hardcover. And I love that all of the Illumicrate hardcovers have like this distinctive texture to them. You can tell that they print like their own thing and it's all like cohesive in terms of manufacturing. This says, will you tell me a story, wolf girl? Mm. So does this have like a romance? Is this, is, is this where we're at? Can you guys even see that? And is this signed by the author? Yes, it is indeed signed by the author right here. Oh yes, wow, okay. We've got some beautiful artwork under the dust jacket. I am loving this vibe. Phoenix situation, we've got a wolf, we've got a sword, we've got a trident. Okay, okay, let me read the synopsis. See, this is where I go like, should I make a vlog reading like every, <laughs> that'd be a big, a massive endeavor. But I'm like, should I make a vlog like reading book box books? Like all around, like YA, middle grade, adults, all around. Cause some of these sound just so great that I want to read it in the moment, but I'm like, I don't want to lose that excitement, you know? So maybe if I do a video, maybe. This says, <clears throat> steeped in Hungarian history and Jewish mythology, perfect for fans of Naomi Novik and Catherine Arden. In her forest veiled pagan village, Oh God, here we go. I'm going to say Evike is the only woman without power, treated like an outcast due to her corrupted bloodline. When soldiers arrive from the Holy Order of Woodsmen to claim a girl for the king's blood sacrifice, Evike is betrayed by her fellow villagers and surrendered. When monsters attack the woodsmen and they're captive en route to the capital, they slaughter everyone but Evike and the cold one-eyed captain. But she soon learns he's no ordinary woodsman. He is Gaspar Barani, the disgraced prince whose cruelly zealous Ella's brother plans to seize the throne and instigate a reign of religious persecution and ethnic cleansing. Wow. Okay, this book actually sounds amazing. It also sounds like a lot, <laughs> but I really, again, want to read this. I have my TBR right there and I'm just looking at it and I'm like, I can't edit it. It's too many pages, but maybe, maybe September. Maybe. Anyways, got the July box right here. It's open because I was trying to find the June one and... Let's see, we've got Never Enough, and I was super excited about this month because we've got like a Poppy War item, we've got like a bunch of fandoms that I'm really into, so I was really excited about this. It seems to be very Asian inspired based solely on the fact that there's a Chinese dragon by the looks of it. Thank you, Illumicrate, because I was wondering this. I was wondering where the signed book plate for In the Ravenous Dark was, and it's right here because I didn't get mine. So I appreciate them putting it in here. Did they watch my video and realize that I didn't have one? I never reached out to them because I usually don't complain about stuff. I'm, I usually don't reach out about anything, but this is pretty cool. Thank you, Illumicrate. You guys are awesome. You guys rock. And we've got a preview for the upper world. And this says, get a taste of the mind-blowing thriller out August 19th. Okay, this is a tiny book. I love this. It's kind of cute. I'm ready. Let's get this crackling. We've got a mug which says, between us and it gives nothing away. I am excited. I love Rosie Thorne's mugs. I am excited about this. Whatever it is, let it be the Poppy War. It just says a limit crate at the bottom. It gives nothing away. Okay, this has to be the Poppy War. That has to be Rin. That has to be uh hate you. Um, <laughs> sorry. Me getting carried away because I know how, uh, is that Neja and Rin? Is, is, is this where we're at? We have got this beautiful, stunning mug, which this one, I think I will definitely be putting on my kitchen because I don't have more space for decorative things on my bookshelf. Let's look at the spoiler card though. I think I'm definitely going to need it. This is, yes. Okay. It is the Poppy War. It was <laughs> an incredible series. Read it if you haven't. This is my PSA of the day. Who are these stunning people? Hello. So we've got this. Uh, what do you call these? Is this Red Rising? Wait a minute. Oh, it is. Oh, 
Okay, I was literally just thinking about buying Red Rising today. Should I do it? Maybe I'll do it tonight. Anyway, this is a stunning frame. It's like a glass or like... I guess like plasticky, glassy sort of frame. And it's got three characters from Red Rising. This is Darrow, Severo, and Mustang. We've got this box right here. I'm gonna need my trusty knife. What is this? What is this protecting? What's in here? Okay, we've got a statue? <laughs> We have a whole ass statue. Wait a minute. Is this supposed to be like a collection of something? Because we have a whole ass statue of Lila Bart from A Darker Shade of Magic. This is really pretty, first of all, but it's a whole statue. Hi, Lila. Wow. Okay. I was not expecting a statue in here. We've got Ms. Lila Bard from Darker Shades of Magic, which <laughs> you guys know is unfortunately not a favorite of mine. Like, not Lila the series but that is really pretty i'm liking these very decorative pieces vibes like they definitely feel like very collective like collector's editions which i really like so they're all like items that you can display is this a hand mirror it totally is and it's also got a skull wait where can i take this out so this says to define is to limit which is factual that is not a lie and then if we turn this around we've got this i'm not a fan of items like these these are the items that i personally find not as useful personally because i know not i'm not going to use a hand mirror but i'd rather just take like a compact with me my makeup artist side is coming out that's probably an item that i'm not going to use very often and that is inspired by the picture of Dorian Gray. I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. And then we've got a fan, which honestly, I'm not gonna lie, it's so hot here that this will definitely come in handy to me. But I'm gonna try and... Okay, no, that's not working, Mel. You got this. Ooh, what's up? Okay, we've got this beautiful fan right here. And this says, no night was perfect for Teresa, but this one came close by Joan Ha. Oh wait, is this from Descendants of the Crane? I recognize the illustrations from the cover. So again, this seems to be like a very Asian inspired box. So I'm into it. I can't wait to see what the book is though because I've genuinely got no idea what it could be. We've got the monthly enamel pin. Let's look at this real quick. We're almost done, you guys, almost done. And okay, let me not look at the book. We've got this enamel pin right here. I'm going to assume it's beautiful, <laughs> even though I can't see it from a distance. It is really beautiful and definitely Asian inspired. We got a really beautiful temple. And this is a tall book. Hello. This is definitely bigger than The Wolf in the Woods, man. So we've got, again, the Illumicrate pouch. Thank you, Illumicrate. I appreciate you. We're going back to our roots. Now we just need the yellow box. Please bring it back. I really want a yellow box. Beautiful. What's this color? Yellow. <laughs> We've got yellow sprayed edges. They're stunning. We've got the little pouch moment. And do we... Are you kidding me? <gasps> a lycrate. And we've got the beautiful end papers. A lycrate. Wow. Oh, wow. It's the gradient, too. We've got yellow transitioning into oh my god illumicrate you did that and this is she who became the sun by shelly parker chan and we've got the signed book plate which i love that it's like so small and cute that's really cute and let's see what else this wow she didn't just want greatness she wanted the world illumicrate are you kidding me and then the artwork under the dust jacket what happens if i read this this month too so i think what i'm hearing is that I need to build my September TBR today because all of these books just sound incredible. I mean, I haven't even read the synopsis for this, but it looks incredible. This says, can she outwit her destiny and rise as high as she can dream? In a famine-stricken village on a dusty yellow plain, a seer shows two children their fates. For the boy, greatness. For the girl, nothingness. In 1345, China lies under harsh Mongol rule. For the starving peasant of the central plains, greatness is only found in stories. The Su family is mystified as to how Su Chongba, their eighth born son, will achieve his lofty future. But for a daughter, no matter how clever or capable, an early death would be no surprise. His sister steals his identity to enter a monastery. There, disguised as the male novice, Su learns she can be ruthless to avoid 
her fate. I might have to build my September TBR now. A Luma crate and all of these book boxes just came through with the great books and I want to read all of them. And then last but not least, we have got the Luma crate collections, the Luma crate editions. This is the From Blood and Ash exclusive box from Luma crate. So this is the last one that we are diving into. It promises. I can't wait. I have never obviously gotten one of their editions boxes. So this is really exciting. I can't wait to see what they do, what they did, what the book looks like in person. So I'm really excited. Let's open this. Looks like this. And we've already got some great items happening here. So obviously from Blood and Ash. And I'm going to put this over here. I think that's easiest. And we've got this. And what, honestly, this, oh, this artwork. I love this. So wait, is this like a book cover? Like, am I supposed to put this on like the hardcover book? Like slip the hardcover on these little ends right here. Let's try this out. Almost like a book sleeve, but like not a book sleeve. Is, is, is that, is, I need to check. <laughs> we have, oh yeah, it's a book jacket. Okay. Okay, keep your hardbacks in perfect condition. And this was designed by Winter of Her Discontent. Okay, I'll make sure again to link everybody down below. We have got a mug and of course I am going to open this here. This says behind the veil. Let's see what lies behind the veil. Another mug. I've got, oh wow, we've gotten actually a lot of mugs and tumbler cups in this video alone. I guess I love that for me. I don't know where I'm gonna put all of them though because it's very hard to store these. But let's, oh wow. There's just something about their faces that screams scary to me. I'm not gonna lie, she looks a little bit uncomfy, like way uncomfy, way more uncomfy than she was in the book, I'll tell you that. However, I appreciate the mug. What is this? <gasps> Okay, so I've been dying to get one of these. This is definitely a letter opener, isn't it? What is this? Okay, so wait, it's a replica. I know uh, this is also designed by Stacey McAvoy Kant, but I know we got one, not we, but people got one in one of the book boxes. I can't remember which one it was, and it was some thrown a glass and it was a letter opener. However, this is gorgeous and it's weighty too. See, this is where I kind of wish I had a shrine for From Blood and Ash, but I don't. And I also haven't read the third book. I don't know when I'm planning to read it. You guys ask me all the time. This little small thing. This is magnetic coins. Poppy and Hawk magnetic coins. This is designed by Monolime. So they're like magnets. You can put this on the fridge or somewhere where it's metal. So that is Mr. Hawk. And then we have got Poppy. And this illustration of Poppy is actually really nice. I actually really, really like it. Oh, wow. Okay, wait. It just, it's the, it's the gift that keeps on giving. We have got this huge art print, which is beautiful of Poppy, Hawk, and Kieran. So this is actually really freaking stunning. I love this artwork. This is really, really stunning. It's also so like photorealistic. I'm into this. Who designs this? This is by ARZ28. And I, again, I appreciate like the foiling details. I think those are really pretty to bring in like some dimension into the art. Where am I putting this? We got a blanket though. And I love a blanket. So I appreciate this for sure. I don't know how I'm going to show you guys this, but I am going to attempt. It's really freaking soft. Wow. Okay. I love the texture of this. And we've got the dagger and it just keeps on going. And we've got the dagger. We've got sword on sword on sword on this one. So I love this. It's super soft. I am definitely going to be making a lot of use out of this. And this was designed by Yoshi Yoshitani. So again, all of these will be linked down below as well as everybody else. Never gotten a, a blanket from a Luma crate, so this is nice. I hope the Night Circus one also brings a blanket. I'm gonna keep it on my lap because that feels nice. And then again, another pouch. Love this for moi. And we've got... Ooh, Spray edges all around, stenciled edges, hello. There we go, stunning, beautiful, exquisite. These are genuinely luxe. We've got the spine. The book feels just expensive. And then the cover, which I personally really love. I think the cover is really beautiful. I think it's just like very different from what we've gotten before while still retaining like the key element of the regular covers. And oh wait, I didn't even notice that part of the stenciled edges was the dagger. It's obviously signed by Ms. JLA. The exclusive cover was designed by Chatty Nora. The illustration is by Mare Wild. And then the foil embossing on the hardback? Wait a minute. Oh! 
Oh, oh, how did I miss this? Holy crap. Oh, oh, wait. <laughs> how did I forget that this was part of the deal? Oh, wow. Okay, I'm into this. So we've got the beautiful boiling of the dust jacket from Blood and Ash Shall Rise. And then we have got this at the back. I forgot that it, the naked book looked like this. Like, part of me almost wants to, like, have this naked, but the cover is also really pretty. So, conflicted about it, but this is stunning. But yeah, you guys. As I'm surrounded by so much of a mess right now, this is the very end of this unboxing situation. Such a long one, so many things to unbox, so many things to talk about. Again, every single artist for every box, I'll make sure to detail everything out in the description box so that it's easily reachable for you guys. I just didn't want to make this overly long. So again, all of the relevant info will be down in the description, as well as all of the links and all of my rep codes for all of these boxes. I don't have a rep code for Fairy Loot, but I do have one one for everything else, so I'll make sure to link all of that down below in case you guys want to sign up for any of these boxes or just sign up to their wait list. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, have you gotten any of these boxes? What's your favorite book box? If there was a favorite item from this video, let a girl know. If you've heard about any of these books, also let me know down in the comments because I have only really heard of This Voice and Heart. Besides that, I think all of the other books are new to me. So again, let me know if you've heard about any of these. If you've already read them, let me know all of that down in the comments. If you reach the very end of the video, let's leave some box emojis down below because boxes, unboxes, unboxes. It's just what it is over here. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already. I'm constantly putting out videos that I'm sure you do not want to miss. And if you want more exclusive content from me, I do have a Patreon. We call ourselves The Citadel. And there is a bunch of fun stuff happening over there too. We've got buddy reads happening, we've got a book club, a discord, exclusive live streams, videos, early access to videos, and just a bunch of fun over there. So if you do want to sign up and join us, all of the info and links for that are down below as well as all of the links to my social media. You guys know where to find me. And yeah, I love you guys so, so much and I shall see you on the next one. Bye guys.